Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we got two big stories for you today. One of them is probably bigger than the other. One of them, uh, well, one pertains to rumors for Breath of the Wild. Two ones that I would say grab your tinfoil hat, grab every bit of skepticism you have. I don't think there's a lot of truth to them, but they are very interesting. The other one, the first story we're going to have, is actually about E3 2022. Uh, it looks like it's happening, folks, and I can't wait for it. And you know what that means at this channel? We'll talk about it here in a moment. First, I gotta remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. To enter, all you have to do is head to the gleam.io link down in the description or the pinned comment. We'll announce the winner, I believe, April 1st. You're in a live stream, although you don't have to be at that live stream uh, to, you know, to win. We might have other giveaways that you have to be live for, but the big one here, I'll end up emailing the winner. All right, that being said, let's get into our first story, and it comes from Tom Henderson. Now, you might go, who the hell is Tom Henderson? Why should I care? Well, he's a video game journalist, a freelance journalist who writes news and articles for Video Games Chronicle, IGN, Dual Shockers, and other outlets. And he put out a tweet today that I have since been able to independently verify. However, I cannot actually, like, read the thing. Let me explain. Here's what his tweet says. E3 will be an entirely digital event again this year. According to the ESRB, AKA the ESA who runs the ESRB, uh, who sent out emails to developers today. And that is what he tweeted out. And I've actually since seen this email from a developer friend. Now I can't actually read this email to you. What I can tell you, however, is the gist of what's happening. They are obviously letting developers know this event's happening, reaching out to them, trying to get them to commit to their event and commit to showing games. So they have nothing to announce at this time, and we're not gonna hear an announcement. I would suspect if we do hear an announcement for E3, it's gonna happen in April. I originally thought maybe by the end of this month, but right now this is a feeler email going out to developers to try to see who gauge interest, who's going to be, you know, involved in this. And so they can start really planning this out. Now you might go, maybe they should have sent this out earlier this year, but you know, maybe for the big boys they did, maybe for Nintendo, Microsoft, etc. Maybe they already knew about this, but for the other developers, the indie developers and, and some of the third party, you know, AAA developers, they're just finding out now and obviously get to decide if they want to participate so yeah it does look like e3 is going to be back this year along with obviously summer game fest which has already been confirmed by jeff Keighley to be coming back as well what does that mean for us what well, you guys know or maybe you don't because you're a new subscriber thank you so much by the way if this is the first video you've ever seen drop a like and hit the subscribe button we do a big e3 show as long as there's a digital event otherwise we go to e3 in person and have completely different kinds of content but as long as e3 is digital we provide a show we put on our very first one last year to this year would be our i guess our second annual at this point show and during our show we live stream for 12 plus hours per day we cover everything live as it's happening both at summer game fest and during e3 we have hundreds of things we give away to you know obviously hundreds of winners of giveaways we have special uh, entertainment events uh like eric and i punishing each other this year we're actually planning to have a bit of a death wheel that's going to be a lot of fun with different punishments and different activities different contests between eric and i different contests we have with you guys whether it's smash bros or mario kart with the new tracks we'll we'll have a lot of fun splatoon 3 will be out so yeah, that might be something we get to enjoy with you guys as well, potentially if it's out in time. Again, we actually don't know when Splatoon 3 is coming. So yeah, we have a lot of things that were already in the pre-planning stages and a lot of companies we're already talking to. A majority of what happens during E3 actually comes out of our own pockets. The prizes, all the sets, and all the costumes and any other crazy stuff we do. We plan to bring on even more special guests. Last year, we had the Young Cavs and Andres restart on. This year, we're actually planning to up the game and not only bring back, maybe those people we got to reach out to the young calves they've been a little bit inactive lately uh, but we want to bring in a bunch of other nintendo content creators and other people interested in other parts of the industry like when we're going to bring in and talk about you know square square enix potentially having a show we're going to want to bring in someone who actually covers and is considered an expert in the field of square enix so i'm really really excited uh for what we are working on right now because we have much longer to plan for this now uh than we did last year so the show should be bigger and better than ever uh our set is largely not going to change over what we just built now uh but that doesn't mean we're not gonna you know have some 
goodies and bonus things happening on the set. Now, I hope to see you guys all there. And speaking of E3, if it is happening, I presume Nintendo will be there, and that's when the next Nintendo Direct will drop. And because of that, that's when we might actually hear about Breath of the Wild 2. Now, I have, uh, I, I'm talking about this mostly because any excuse to talk about Breath of the Wild 2 is great. Uh, what we're about to get into are rumors. I would say they're um, likely fake, and you'll see why. Uh, but they do come from Nintendo Academy, who him. Self, Mike Perez is basically saying that he's not really sure they're real either. There are some red flags, but hell, if these end up being true, I don't know. I'll have to eat one of my socks because I just can't see these being true. But we're going to talk about it because it is a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to go to my notes straight on this. And, well, here's the first thing from this batch of rumors. I was someone who emailed him and said the game has actually been completed. It's completed development. Doesn't mean it won't be delayed out of this year, but if it is delayed, it won't be because the game's not done. It would be because, I don't know, they want to wait for the next platform or some other logistical concern. But the game itself is basically completed. They're not really developing it at the moment it's just in the finalization stages and honestly it's probably fully playable at least according to this rumor uh and this rumor also states that the title wasn't revealed at the last two trailers because the title wasn't actually finalized and in fact we get later into here about three titles that have been floating around inside Nintendo HQ, supposedly. Again, this is just what this rumor claims. Now, we obviously know Nintendo sort of teased, hey, we can't tell you the title because, oh, it's going to be a big spoiler. But is it? I have no idea. Um, might not be as big a spoiler as Nintendo thinks, or maybe it is. Uh, next up... Skyward Sword is going to have a huge connection with this game, which is interesting because Skyward Sword already had a huge connection with the original Breath of the Wild. All the goddess statues, hello, that actually originates from Skyward Sword. Also, by the way, there's a direct reference to fee fi fo fum uh, our good old friend uh, from Skyward Sword HD. Uh, yeah, there was a huge reference to that in Breath of the Wild as well in the story. So, yeah, there was already a pretty big connection in Breath of the Wild. So now that we're literally in the sky, I obviously can see Skyward Sword having an even larger connection this time around. Now here's where the red flag comes in. Before we even get to the potential titles, this is maybe the reddest of red flags. And this is what lets me know this probably came from a fan who has never even played Skyward Sword. So Ganondorf is apparently in, obviously in this game, but going to be a puppet, okay. Um, Ganondorf, Ganon's never really been a puppet, but you could argue Skyward Sword Connection. Demise is the original baddie. Demise, you know, spoiler, spoiler here, uh, created a curse that actually allowed Ganon and Ganondorf to be as powerful. So if he's going to be a puppet to anyone, Demise, cool. Demise is coming back, right? And while this rumor states he's actually a puppet to Girahim, who Girahim was a puppet himself in Skyward Sword and is literally just a sword. So that makes no sense to me. Pretty big red flag. Sounds like someone who has never played Skyward Sword and only watched the trailers because Demise doesn't really appear in most, I don't think Demise appeared in any of the Skyward Sword HD trailers. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But Girahim is heavily featured. So there's a presumption Girahim's the main baddie. He's not. So there's that. Uh, if this ends up being true, that's crazy. This probably would be a trilogy then because then the third game would end with Demise because Demise is above Girahim. So anyways, uh, last is obviously the titles that have been floating around at Nintendo. Apparently there's conveniently been three of them. Uh, one of them is called uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyloft Rebirth. Interesting. Uh, the next one would be The Legend of Zelda Skies of the Past and The Legend of Zelda Return of the Skies. Again, all of those sound completely fan make up, made up, but if you had told me that uh, the next Zelda game, you know, back when it was just known as Zelda Wii U, was gonna be called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I probably would have told you that sounded made up by a fan as well. The so Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, okay, maybe, but that kind of sounds made up at the time. A lot of the Zelda titles sound like things fans could come up with, so, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I obviously have no idea and put zero stock in this, but 
Still, it's always fun to think, it's always fun to speculate. Use your own minds, you for the free thinkers that you guys are, and let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. Are you excited that E3 is likely coming back? Are you excited about potentially seeing Breath of the Wild 2 this summer? I know I'm really excited about that. Uh, and when do you think it's gonna come out? I obviously think it's still gonna come out this year because I just want it to, and Nintendo hasn't announced the delay yet, so I don't have a reason to think otherwise. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Also, yeah, I, I, I know. The light's glaring, like right around here. I, I, I know, my studio light's glaring. See, someone told me that I should shine the light from the top, and this is what happens when I, when, when, when I do things the way that the set wasn't intended to be set up. I should just listen to myself. <laughs> ah, yep, yep, yep.